Hi, I'm Jamie. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a zoodle from a zucchini. And then I'm going to show you how to cook them because I see a lot of people dumping them in boiling water. You don't want to do that. Just a quick two one to two minutes in the in the saute pan that's all they need but anyways i've had this is three zucchini that i've taken and washed and cut in half and i like to take a little bit of the skin off you don't have to some people like it but i take a little bit off so you've got your half of your zucchini and this is my spiralizer um, i open up a drawer and put a pan because it falls onto it much easier than trying to hold a bowl under there. Uh, we pick the thick spiral because they seem to hold up better. Put that in there. Take your zucchini. Poke it on there. Get it secure. And then just start, start spiralizing. This is kind of fun for the kids to do too. And I, I break them off about halfway because no one wants a noodle that long. I don't. And these are great to have and you only have to do this once a week. This is probably gonna fill up a whole gallon size bag and then I just take out what I need as I need it. So there you go, there's one half. And it goes by pretty quick considering how much you get from it once you're once you're done. And then normally I won't be sideways like this. I'll make some of them different lengths. And you just spiral, spiral, spiral. And for the sake of the video time, I'm not gonna show you the rest of it, but that's it. Spiral. There's no need to go to the store and buy pre-made spirals. They're right here. You can do it. This look, took two seconds. Let me do another one real quick. You want to clean the little blade off, pull some of the zucchini out of there. And this is great. You could put a sweet potato. I've spiralized up a sweet potato. Um, the ribbon cutter is pretty good on this. But it's healthy and it's delicious, and I honestly like it better than pasta. There. There you have all your zoodles. Easy peasy. So, in my next video, I'll show you how to saute them, and then I may be making a a dish called pasta alla norma, but I'm going to call it zoodle alla norma. So we'll see you then.